Hi, welcome back. So it's the 29th of February, uh, a marvellous leap year, and it's time for an update of, of last month's work on the David Project. Now, it's been an interesting month, uh, and if you've been following my uh, other podcasts, you'll know it's been an interesting and painful month for me, as I've been laid up low with gout. Um, If I look over there, this has been my um, impromptu workshop, uh, lying on the sofa with with an elevated foot. Um, But what can one do? These things are sent to try us. And try it, it did. Uh, But back to the summary. So here's the piece I showed you at the end of January, and I finished it as as one of those um, angled wall pieces. Ear on one side, not on the other. Um... The hair finished, and generally I'm quite satisfied. It's uh, the third in this series, and I think it'll once it's paint, once he's painted, it'll sit quite nicely with the other two. Uh, and I suppose that took me another few days, allowing for uh, bed rest, um, and then I started working on what is approximately a full-sized head. So here goes, um, and just coming in you can see this is much much bigger and I'm quite pleased well I was quite pleased is probably a better way of putting it because I was working on him sort of lying down holding the wire kind of above my head which is not exactly the ideal position and one of the problems is that I was probably quite cavalier with the tilt of the head. And as a result, if I tilt the head incorrectly like that, you can see that the ear matches up beautifully with the nose. And I suppose I was rushing a bit as well, and then I looked at it um, properly, and I realized that it had, it, it, it's as if his head had tailed off, had fallen off to one side uh, in every possible way. But quite clearly, the ear is in the wrong place. Well, having spotted that, I tried to fix it, um, and the fix didn't work either. And this is a bit of a problem, because my plan is still uh, to enter an interesting international art competition... And this was supposed to be uh, a finished head, um, a life-size, perhaps slightly bigger than life-size. It's 70 centimetres, and I think the the head of the real David, from chin to the top of his wonderful curls, is maybe 65. But never mind, it's approximately uh, the real life-size of the statue. And I was going to finish this in the round, plus the neck and a little bit of the, you know, the trapezius mus- muscles and what have you. And now I've got this ear in the wrong place. So one option was to cut the ear off and sort of re-stitch it up. But I just felt this would lose a little bit of its uh, um, integrity. So I'm just waiting for a car to pass. The joys of living in the northeast of Brazil. Loud music. Even, you know, carnival's over, but it's never really over. But anyway, back to the sculpture. Uh, But I think, certainly if this is going to be my competition piece, cutting the ear off is not going to lead to the aesthetic results I want. Plus, this sort of tail off wasn't just the ear, it's the jaw as well. Um, I think if I look over here, this really should be a bit further up. So I've decided that I'm going to use this as a sort of a base, and over the next month, I'm going to do, you think of this very much as a study, uh, copy the bits that I like, work in a more modular form. So, for example, 
use this cheek structure, this fleshy mass that's over here, which I quite like, um, copy the eyes uh, in their entirety now that I know that I'm, I'm happy with the size make a few small corrections to the mouth um, and get the hair to stick out a little bit more because that's another thing that didn't work out in, in a sense this hair here should be just beyond the nose so it should really come out about there so I'm going to use this as a, as, as, a, um, as a starting point for a more finished version where the ear will definitely be in the right place. Now the question mark, the, entry ha uh, the final date for the entry closing date is the 30th of April. Uh, can I finish everything that I want to do in the time allotted? And... One advantage of my little black book that I use to log work time is that I can state that this piece here was about, I suppose, 65 hours work. And maybe it's, it's more than halfway there. So if I do 120 hours work in March, it will be the wire work will be finished and it'll just be a matter of painting it. So, yes, I can get it done. Um, so that's the plan. What's intrigued me, and this is a psychological observation, is that this whole disappointment of realizing that I'd made a bit of a bit of a mistake didn't bother me. You know, the fact that I observed the mistake and I know why I made the mistake is is interesting. You know, if you tilt the head there, it's all wonderful. Um, the hair comes out beyond, which is what I was looking for. The ears lined up nicely. But of course, there's a new problem if I do that, and that the eye should be slightly back from the corner of the mouth. So, quite simply, it's wrong. And that's okay, you know, because having made this mistake, it's a sort of... Um, a large-scale deliberate practice, it's time to just do the next one. And let's see what I'll have to show you at the end of March. I'm hoping it will be a complete head. And I think if, if, if I do do that, it will be something that's quite impressive. Meanwhile, this piece, once I've got the competition out of the way, can be converted into, into a, another one of these... Um, uh, dynamic angled wall pieces and I can fix the ear or not I'm not sure I'll, I'll see what I think um, and it'll be that'll be fine too so there we are uh, let me know what you think and until next month ciao